today in the crypto space we see the market doing pretty good bitcoin at about 67,000, ethereum slightly below the 3500 dollars mark a bit of a pullback the rest of the crypto space the altcoins doing pretty awesome xrp another pump to the upside avax finally waking up and doge showing some strength in today's video i want to talk about the general market i want to use bitcoin as a leading indicator but i feel like it's really important at this current moment to see what bitcoin is doing because the bearish divergence on lower time frames is definitely piling in so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover it on those live streams or on the channel feel free to let me know in the comments section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is it's absolutely free all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here with this market we see the overall market cap grinding to the upside while the trading volume is finally picking up here However, we do see that the trading volume is trending to the downside while the market cap is rising, which shows us a sign of divergence. Now, if we do see the momentum of all of this price action of the trading volume and, and, and so on, kind of, kind of reset and get oversold a little bit, finally, we could see the volume pick up and continue with the, the gradual growth of the market cap up to $3 trillion. So I feel like right now we do see volume you know kind of tapering down but the market is still looking strong given the fact that there is a, a grind to the upside with market cap now a lot of us when we look at the scenario it does look like divergence and it is divergence however do we actually get the follow-through and that's one of the issues that i want to talk about today with regards to bitcoin and of course even with the market cap is that sometimes we get multiple drives of divergence multiple drives of bearish divergence that actually do not get follow through and in fact they get totally invalidated you know bearish is di bearish divergences do get invalidated very frequently in bullish conditions and vice versa when we're in bearish conditions the bullish divergences sometimes get invalidated and even more so sometimes they even get multiple drives of divergence before they get the follow through and if they get the follow through so you can see that generally speaking this is a game of probability here guys right and on the lower time frames for bitcoin you know the the divergences are there and if we get on lower time frames on some of the all coins the divergences are st slowly starting to build on the lower time frames so i'm still preparing you know psychologically economically i'm preparing my portfolio for that potential dip that a potential opportunity to be buying at slightly lower levels based on lower time frames not big picture dips i'm not talking about absolute dumps i'm talking about a short-term pullback that we can see the four hour reset and maybe get um oversold and may be able to scale into some positions now again guys the market doesn't promise you anything this is why it's very very important to dca when you do get opportunities and about two weeks ago we got great opportunities to be buying the dip now you can see the market looking a bit you know very strong a bit toppish on the four hour maybe even gonna get toppish even on the daily all right so let's scale through this market let's look at the top 100 get a sense of what's been happening here in the last little while we have bitcoin slow grind to the upside ethereum going sideways no real you know movement upwards um going sideways is actually not bad given when you see negative momentum and we see price action going sideways that is definitely a sign of strength um we're not really that that negative at the current moment we do see momentum diverging across the market so it's still not a bad look here where we get a continuation to the upside the bnb doing a very similar thing solana showing a bit more strength than the rest given the fact that it's still making higher highs and higher lows with some conviction 3.6 percent to the upside xrp got a pullback but it's waking up again not bad you know up another five percent after its impulsive move all we could expect is some you know support a consolidation and based on the consolidation we expect the continuation which is bullish for xrp altogether 
Dogecoin grinding to the upside up 20%. We have Elon with the laser eyes coming out on X, which is great, which is bullish. Now, does Elon, does he still have the interest for Dogecoin? And does Dogecoin still have the possible integration into the Elon quote unquote ecosystem? Does that even you know have a potential opportunity? And if it does, guys, I'm expecting Dogecoin to do very well. Obviously, not financial advice, but me personally, I'm I'm you know holding a bit of Doge just in case any of that happens i definitely want to have a position to be able to you know, obviously prosper from uh toncoin getting a pullback guys if you are interested in toncoin i feel like you know as a large cap obviously just understand that we're talking about a 17 billion dollar uh, market cap here large cap project we're, we're we're talking about a scenario that we could get some relief to the upside eventually after this dip but just understand as a large cap, you're not going to be making those life-changing gains. And the same thing with Cardano. AVAX moving up to the upside, 6.5%. These are great moves to the upside. If anything, you should be happy with a 5X on these larger caps. We do a 5x, I'm very happy with that. A 10x maximum would be amazing, obviously. These are things that, these these are opportunities for sure. But, you know, a, a nice move to the upside on these larger caps is, is definitely welcome. However, as you go down the market cap, the possibility of those bigger moves, that bigger volatility is much higher. So we got to consider that. Obviously, the risk is much more. Near protocol looking great. After a nice rally to the upside, it's going sideways. That's really, really good. A lot of these, um, you can see these fractals that we're looking at here on the right hand side there's not much happening across the market you know it's not that aggressive in any direction pretty sideways pretty indecisive you know not really uh, not much conviction across the market and i feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that there's not mar much market participation meaning that we're not getting any major new capital coming in we need new capital we need the retailers to come in we need a little bit of hype we need some fomo to come in and as we see the markets wake up, it could be that we get some more capital introduced into the crypto space. So be patient because I think patience at this at this current moment is absolutely necessary. And I'm seeing that, you know, even the socials are simmering down. People are looking the other way. We have a lot of the crypto, temporary crypto bulls finally, you know, leaving the market or finding other hobbies, you know, picking up, um, you know, whatever it is, you know, coin collecting or, or some other thing. But you know what the reality is, is this is the time to focus is the time to really be paying attention not collecting stamps and so on where we should be focusing on at least preparing our portfolios by becoming fundamentally bullish checking out those deep dives guys i do produce a deep dive every sunday if you missed out on my deep dives feel free to check out the channel because i have a list a playlist that has all my deep dives more than 50 deep dives over the last year that i've been um, accumulating and basically highlighting some of the fundamentals to get bullish here and this is the perfect opportunity look at cashback coming down 3.2 percent unfortunately but cashback has been showing a lot of strength so coming down for a bit of a pullback and i did mention this was the time to be careful and you know it is top ish top heavy and that means that you don't want to be exit liquidity guys you see cashback showing a little bit of weakness here is you know expected and it's healthy why we come down pick up some more bullish bids and then we go for the higher high that's how the markets work when the markets when you see the price can't push higher the only way to make it actually be able to break the, that resistance is to come down put it on sale people buy it because it's on sale because they're still fundamentally bullish and those bulls will buy it on the fire sale then we pick up those bit, bullish bids and then we bid up the price much higher and break the previous high and this is what's happening right now so keep pay attention to caspa because caspa is still bullish we're waiting some for some catalyst to ha happen out of the caspa camp let's keep on going uh we have mantle going sideways at least dog with fat grinding to the upside some of these meme coins are doing pretty good lately um what else do we have we keep on going now and you can see like not really exciting price action in the last little bit i'll be honest you know we should be seeing some volatility any day now obviously you know the weekends type of thing are pretty sideways and when they're sideways or or even if they're volatile you know the order books are, are are very thin but you know given the fact that we're starting a week with some sideways price action it's not a good look i would really would appreciate a bit of volatility um and let's see what happens here in the next little while see if we get some uh thor chain rune still grinding to the upside yes it's down two percent today but it has been doing very well guys it's been doing very well so i'm I'm hoping that this is just a higher low and then we go for another higher high we continue grind to the upside not coin not looking so good in the last little bit but still bullish 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 and we have celestia finally waking up man of the match 13.2 percent to the upside 
pretty, pretty healthy there. I'm happy because my bags are nice and green and I'm hoping to continue to the upside because it is up 17% in the last seven days. Pretty good, not too bad, not too bad whatsoever. Uh, Jupiter, congrats, doing great, 22%. And as we keep on going down, guys, we can see that the market is in a slow grind, very slow grind or even sideways trajectory. Now, the question is, are we gonna get hang time to the point that we're gonna get that follow through to the downside? That's the major concern here, but on the lower time frames, I'm talking about the four hour guys. The four is on my eyesight. It's definitely on my, on my, um, you know, I'm basically, uh, I'm focusing on the four hour lately because the four hour is showing weakness while the daily is still bullish. And if you missed out on any entries such as, me i do have capital that i want to deploy you know i always have capital that i want to deploy that's one of my strategies is to always have a minimum 10 percent in dry powder to deploy at minimum and right now i'm slightly over which means that i need to deploy a little bit more i would like to deploy a bit more so any short-term pullbacks on the four hour i am going to be deploying and this is why i'm tracking bitcoin very heavily all right let's move on guys i know you're here to talk about charts and today i want to focus on bitcoin because ultimately it is a leading indicator based on my strategy i focus on bitcoin to tell me what could be happening with the crypto market it is the largest cap crypto out there and it has a lot of influence over the way people think and the psychology and the emotions in the market if bitcoin comes down even for a short-term pullback i'm expecting uh, risk on assets in this crypto space the riskier uh, projects to take a bigger hit why because people take profit or exit positions when there's signs of risk and right now bitcoin is giving us a little bit of a sign not too much but a bit of a sign and if we keep um, in tune with the price action okay we're reaching a level where we've gotten rejected before very similar right and we've gotten a higher uh, sorry a lower high before now i know a lot of people are going to be saying what about if we make another lower high i'm going to be careful here and i understand that definitely from a bottom to the top the reality is the majority of the move is in the majority of the i'm only talking short term i'm not talking long term i'm not talking about the daily so let's do the daily first so we can be real about what really is happening here on, on the daily big picture i believe personally obviously none of this is financial advice but the way i see this chart it literally is pre uh, preparing for a launch it's pre preparing for a continuation to the upside now the question is, how deep is the retracement, number one, because we are making lower lows and lower highs, and it is very clear a bull, a bull flag, and bull flags can retrace, but the question is, how low, how low do we go, and do we get a capitulation event where we sweep the lows very hard, get people wrecked, and then bounce really hard to the upside, and continue with the breakout, with the bullish breakout to the upside? How does that play out? And if it does play out, are you going to have the convictions? Are you going to have the diamond hands? Are you going to have, you know, the stones to be buying the dip and you know accumulating at lower levels that's my psychology at the current moment because really everything's looking good on the daily we have an expansion to the upside with regards to trend looking very hot as you can see the 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 nice expansion here moving emas facing up purple expansion to the upside green instagram bars guys and we've been tracking it perfectly all the way up until this level with the ema cross and we got it perfectly pretty much the entry was pretty good right around this level now all of a sudden we do see that the daily is getting to a overbought state let me go into the momentum oscillator here guys by the way if you're interested in this oscillator i have information for you in the in the in the description below join the discord i've got a lot of information this indicator has been working very very well look at the divergences right here at the bottom that caused the momentum to literally rise up and the price to rise up now we can see the volatility very overbought in oversold states and overbought states now what about if we get volatility volatility back to oversold you know that would make us basically see the price come down a little bit and we do see that the momentum might want to get overbought it hasn't gotten overbought here but it did get overbought here so what is happening here with momentum do we get overbought for another impulsive move to the upside which is very possible which means that the volatility needs to hang out up here for a little bit longer similar to what happened here and if it does happen we might get that impulse to the upside the only issue that i have is that it already moved significantly and you can see that the the, the, the short-term time frames based on the, what's happening here with this expansion the short term the four hour given that we're over overbought here could be looking for a dip okay so that's one thing that i want to focus on today is what is really happening on the four hour 
Okay. And another thing I want you to consider is this right here is that this is the air area of the best risk toward entries if you're on the sidelines looking for entries. And not only for Bitcoin, but for the entire crypto space. Because if Bitcoin comes down to this level to test these horizontal supports, the vertical supports, the um the uh, diagonal support, sorry, and or the the moving average, the EMA average support, you know what? Anywhere around this area, and especially when we see the oscillators get oversold with bullish divergence this would be a great buy opportunity considering that it could be a confirmation low a higher low because guess what we bro it broke structure we had a change of structure we made a higher high in comparison to this high so all of a sudden we've been making lower lows and lower highs then all of a sudden we go in for a higher high so all, we're not making only lower lows and lower highs anymore but we would like to confirm that the trend has changed by making a higher low so come down make a higher low get that confirmation let's spam those buy orders and then we get a continuation up and we hit resistance again at about 72 and then we start looking for a breakout now it doesn't have to happen that way guys this is why i dca'd right on to this level i made that very clear on the discord that i was uh, i even shared all my entries and all my buy orders what i was looking for and what i did accumulate and i'm happy with those but i would like a little bit more of course we're never happy guys hindsight is always 2020 we always want to be able to be buying dips and we always be prepared for buying those dips and that's why on this channel i focus significantly on buying the dip because if you focus on um looking for um to only take profits or only breakout positions the reality is breakouts you're buying tops on breakouts you're buying local tops and this is this is the breakout zone for this breakout out of this bull flag and i won't be buying here because at this level what about if we get rejected again what about if and it could happen it could come down that we're in a descending megaphone pattern we could come down much lower into another extension so i'd rather buy down here and i'd rather buy down here if it happens and i'd rather buy here which i did and i'd rather keep on buying bottoms because i have a higher degree of probability that you know i have a little bit of a ways to the upside before we hit resistance from here to here was a great run and ultimately going into a fresh long at this current moment on bitcoin or any altcoin for that matter is a bit risky okay so let's keep that in mind let's get on to the four hour here real quick and you can see all this noise that I'm uh, talking about is right into this level. Okay, I'm going to extend this up a little bit higher to update this TA. I just want to make sure that this TA is clean enough for us to make some sense out of it. We have a bit of a volume gap right into here uh, that could come down. and The price comes down and it might um, act as um, you know a level of confluence or uh, a level of which we need to kind of pay attention to. Because at this level, we do have a nice retracement and we do have all these tops. We have the volume volume gap and a note of volume that could act as support we have a lot of a, a lot of a fear but ultimately guess what it's a higher low if we come down to this level it's still a higher low it's a high a low that is higher than this one which means that we made a higher high and a higher low so i'm looking at anywhere within this yellow box that would be a great zone to you know potentially look for some weaknesses in the bears and looking for a bullish divergence to the upside okay on these lower time frames now back to the price action you can see that we're making higher highs and higher lows look at the oscillators and I'm going to focus on the momentum oscillator. The multi-momentum oscillator is showing us right now that we are making a lower lows on the momentum. Very clearly lower lows, right? Right? Oh, sorry, lower highs. Sorry, high and high, lower highs. So as we see the price rise, we're seeing the momentum fall. Look at the expansions in the background, the green expansions here on the four hour. You can see this one this green expansion looks like it's done it's diverging it's also coming down volatility took a bit of a hit lately and came down to oversold conditions which for me is an opportunity to go long in in, in general cases but look at the divergence that's there so what we have to understand is yes we could get a bounce and go for another higher high here because we've been doing it but big picture these divergences eventually do get follow through right they do get follow through so Who's to say that this momentum can at least come down to about 30%, which would be the oversold state on, for the momentum? Um, who's to say that can't happen? Look at the volatility. came up to this level. It didn't even reach previous zones, previous highs. It, it was very weak. So maybe this dip might be done and then we come back up and we can see the bullish strength do the bulls make a higher high if the bulls do not make a higher high on the price action that means that we're seeing weakness in the bulls and the bears might come down for a bit of a dip and bring this down a little bit and we might see follow through 
on this class A bearish divergence right on these tops. Let me let me just make this small again so we can kind of correlate the price action alongside the oscillators. You can see what I mean here. We're slowly coming down while this is going up. And once we get the follow through, this is where I'm looking to buy in the dip. Now, on an ascending wedge like this one, we can start calling it an ascending wedge perhaps. You know, the base is really the target, which is down here at about 63 cents, you know, something like that. We can also be looking at breaking through, making a, a lower low based on this low and coming down for a short term dip right around this level. But again, I want to see them oscillators oversold. Once we see the oscillators oversold and once we see bullish divergence to the upside, I will be DCing and deploying a big amount of capital. I already deployed pretty big right on this level, but I would like to deploy a little bit more. Let's take a look at the trend. What is the trend uh, saying? The trend oscillator is another great oscillator. Um, it, it, this oscillator, multi-trend oscillator is a great one because we have this, I have this proprietary expansion phase that I see in here. I like to see expansions in both momentum and also um, trend because that's where the magic happens. We don't want to be trading sideways. We want a, a direction. Direction shows us that we can either trade bearish or bullish, right? And at this point, we do see a divergence. And we've got a red dot, guys. So I'm not really crazy about getting into fresh longs. When I do see higher highs on the price action, lower highs on the expansion with confirmed bearish divergence. And the fact is we got some red histogram bars right into here ema is facing down and everything right now on bitcoin on the four hour is not giving me confidence to be buying the dip okay so i want to wait for some follow through now at least i know that i did deploy in here if in case this all gets invalidated and we continue moving to the upside that's the that's the scenario because it could still happen Remember, it's a game of probability. And what needs to really happen is what we need to invalidate the bearish divergence. We need to see a, a nice pump in here where we see a purple expansion. We need to see green Instagram bars. We need to see EMAs facing up. And we need to see the purple expansion and all of this basically supersede the previous highs on all these little oscillators that I got going on here. We need to basically expand to the upside with some aggression to match the price action. Basically, I want to be able to turn this upside down and make this an upwards sloping trend somehow by seeing this thing expand upwards matching the price action but up until now it's not happening guys so what can i say short term bearish four hour i'll take preparing to take full advantage of all the opportunities um midterm to long-term bullish what can i say this is how we play the market we prepare for any scenario hope for the best prepare for the worst and that way we're prepared either way to take profits and obviously um, being able to become a, consider ourselves profitable traders. Now, ultimately, we do see um, the oscillator here um, diverging to the downside, but in order to invalidate, we need to see the purple line again. Similar what I said about the trend oscillator is to see the purple line come up very strong and make a higher high on the oscillator. And that way we're matching the price action. If the price action and momentum, price action and trend are going in the same direction, then there's no divergence, guys. Then, you know, the trend is your friend. We continue to the upside. But right now, that's what we're getting. So I need to prepare for it. So that's Bitcoin. Ultimately, Bitcoin is, is doing great. But again, fresh longs are dangerous guys if i've offered you any value in this video do the channel a massive favor slap the like button it does really help out with the algorithm if you want to follow me on the socials